back to the Perfect Lifestyle Perfect Seasoning Cooking Show. This week, we are gonna do a take on San Gennaro Feast. We're gonna take you out to get some sausage and peppers, but we're gonna sort of liven it up and make it healthy. And before we introduce the, uh, the food that we're gonna do and talk about that, I wanna introduce our special guest this week, Jawan Claiborne from the three-time national champion Bishop Gourmet Gales, eight-time state champions in Nevada. Jojo, welcome to the show. And uh, appreciate you coming aboard. But before we get talk get talking about the foods, let's talk about what's been going on in the off season. You just finished spring ball. You got some summer training going on. What sort of things are you doing? And what sort of personal goals do you have as you get ready for your season with one of the nation's toughest schedules? Well, right now I'm just cutting it down short to uh, just focusing on camp, trying to block up all the other hype, and uh, you know just gaining weight and getting ready for the season. So bulking up, you're taking a position. You're stepping in for one of the nation's top safeties who's moving on to USC, Bubba Bolden, steps out of that starting role, and you finally get to emerge from that shadow. You've been waiting for your time. You gonna be ready for that regular season opener? Oh, yes, sir. All right, so Gorman Gales, of course, they'll get national TV exposure, so make sure you keep an eye out for JoJo. Now, JoJo, we are gonna do a take on some uh, sausage and peppers. We're gonna kind of make it healthy. We're gonna go chicken and peppers, and instead of a big doughy hoagie roll, we're gonna use some a wheat pocket bread. What sort of things do you like to eat after a workout, sort of a post-workout, post-practice meal. Mm, anything to like add some carbs and you know some calories, like some chicken, burgers, anything. Okay, so a lot of protein, a lot of carbs. So let's go ahead and put this meal together. And right now, check out the ingredients you're gonna need for this healthy take on a San Gennaro feast sausage and peppers as we use chicken. Check it out. chicken going ahead of time so it's already grilling sort of sizzling hot in the skillet I have some chicken tenders now you can find these in your grocery mark the chicken tenderloins you know the big bag ziploc bag of frozen chicken tenders or frozen chicken breasts I got the ch chicken tenderloins real easy to use um, and I've just put some sea salt and fresh cracked pepper on top of it I'm gonna throw them in the skillet real quick so they start browning while I'm cutting my produce let's go over to the skillet all right, so it all depends on what you're cooking. I'm gonna use a non-stick cooking spray, the olive oil non-stick uh, cooking spray. I have a hot skillet already. Sometimes I'll use an olive oil, sometimes I use a high temperature oil. Depends on what I'm cooking for this. I just want the non-stick spray. So I'm gonna spray it real good. Always pull this off of the grill so that way it doesn't flare up around the, the, uh, the pan and catch you. And real simple, salted and peppered. We're just gonna throw this right in. We're listening for that sizzle. We know it's nice and hot. Get our chicken going. All right, so while the chicken is browning, I have a nice sweet Vidalia onion. Just cut a little piece of it off. I'm gonna slice this up. You wanna just cut it into slices. You don't wanna, you wanna leave it so the, the rings kinda open up. And as they cook and become translucent, They'll sort of soften up for you. Break them up in your bowl. I have a green, red, and yellow bell pepper. Just sort of cut them up into rings, real simple. There's nothing better than the flavor of peppers and onions and some garlic all tossed in some oil. Um, when you smell that, you really, you really takes you out to the original San Gennaro feast, which started in the early 1900s on Mulberry Street down, uh, down in Manhattan. Of course, in the lower end, Little Italy. Real easy. Boom. Got your uh, onions and peppers. We are going to wait for the chicken to finish and I'm going to use the flavor that's left over in the skillet from the chicken, and that's what we're gonna to toss this with. But before we do so, what I wanna do while that's still brown is I wanna add olive oil to this. And sort of coat our produce here. And this is an Italian dish, so we're gonna use our perfect lifestyle pizza blend on this.
But right now, I'm going to mix all this up, sort of coat everything with the olive oil and the pizza blend. We got our chicken browning. We got our, our uh, vegetables ready. There is going to be a side dish for that. We'll show you that in a minute. But we will be back right after this and finish this cooking of chicken and peppers. Those with a passion for food typically have a tantalizing passion for spices and herbs. Perfect Lifestyle appreciates recipes that revolve around a healthier plate. And when it comes to eating healthy at home, recreational chefs feel the same. Perfect Lifestyle is here to make sure your meal plans are not only loaded with healthy choices, but seasoned properly with the right herbs and spices. Perfect Seasonings. So one thing you want to do is always check your, uh, your protein and just gently lift it off your skillet. If it can't come out uh, easy, then what you want to do is let it cook, let it finish, let it remove itself from the skillet. You never want to tear your meat. You don't want to tear the flesh away from the skillet. When you're working on a grill, a skillet, whatever it may be, it needs to remove itself. Let it cook. All right. so. We have our oil coated peppers and onions. We have our sort of grilled chicken. Um, we use a non-stick spray so it's, it's starting to dry. The pan's starting to get dry. Um, the natural oils and moisture from the peppers and onions will liven that up. We're gonna put it right on top. So we're just gonna kind of let that sear, let the oils kind of marry in all the flavors. Just kind of move, keep moving it around like that. So you don't want your chicken to burn. And then eventually we're gonna take the tongs. You're gonna kind of mix it all around. We want to brown and sort of caramelize your peppers and onions eventually. Right now we just want the liquids to flow downward. Let the flavors from the chicken get mixed in with your uh, produce. And we'll mix this in in just a moment. All right, so it's looking good, smells incredible. I know Jojo is just waiting and can smell the chicken and peppers. Eventually what you want to do is sort of move the chicken to the top and let your vegetables cook at the bottom so they can get uh, sort of wilt a little bit, get some translucent in there. Right, so as you see the chicken really browning and, and, the, and the onions sort of becoming see-through, we're gonna lower the heat and let its own heat finish cooking it. We're gonna make sure that the chicken is on top of everything. That's gonna help finish the cooking, the heat from the pan, but we're gonna turn this down to a simmer and completely take the fire out of the bottom of it. So nothing burns, nothing sticks, but it just sort of continues to slowly cook we're gonna go down to simmer. And now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make our side salad. So you got a nice hot dish, nice hot sandwich, but this nice little cold yogurt and cucumber dish is gonna to add to it nice contrast from that hot bite of chicken and pepper sandwich. All right, so this side dish is sort of a take on a Mediterranean, uh, sort of a side plate, if you will. It's a Lebanese dish, yogurt and cucumbers. I am going to get to cutting on this cucumber while my chicken and peppers are getting done. You take a look at the ingredients you're going to need as I slice this up. just with a little bit of olive oil. Gives it a little bit of moisture throughout. So when you add that, it's gonna seep into the bread, okay? Just as if it was a sa Italian sausage sandwich, we're gonna take the grilled chicken, number one, two tenders, 
We have our sausage and pepper, or our peppers and onions. I can already hear Jojo salivating. <laughs> he put in a hard practice today out at Fertitta Field with the Gorman Gales. So we have our sausage, and, or our chicken and peppers. I keep saying sausage because the smell has me reminding of San Gennaro Feast and the Italian festival comes here every year. Anthony Palmasano does a great job bringing it here, actually twice a year. Just, it just was here a couple of weeks ago. And here we have our cucumber and yogurt salad. Nice little contrast to the dish. There you have it, an easy take, healthy. I'm gonna leave Jojo to it. And hey, we're gonna see you next time out as we take some angel hair pasta and top it with some lemon garlic shrimp. We'll be back next week. Hope you, hopefully you'll be there with us to check that recipe out right now. Jojo, thanks for joining us. Good luck next season. Dig in and enjoy. Take a bite.